five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. This is the Ramble. I am Alex. See, there's my name. And we'll be here until midnight tonight on the east coast of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, out to the other coast of the United States of America, we go, yes, to talk to Larry Bubbles Brown. Yay! Hello, Alex. Yay. How are you, Larry? Good, good. Sweltering here, a rare warm day in Frisco. Oh, is it really? Yeah. It's that bad. It's going to be 90, I think. Oh, really? Son of a bitch. Oh, that's not good. You, know. you grew up here. You know how cold it usually is. Yeah, yeah. It's usually a lot. Um, it's usually a lot. Uh, it's usually, I call San Francisco the world's only air-conditioned city. Yes, and uh, you can't turn it off. <laughs> you can't turn. You can't set it to nine. It's a sixty-eight or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh boy, I'm I'm sitting here in New York, suffering. I believe the worst allergies I've ever had to deal with. Just horrible. Uh, breathing is is labored. Uh, uh, eyes are watery. Nose is dripping. And I don't have a temperature, and I don't have a cough, so it ain't the corona. Yeah. yeah. Now, allergies are, I never had allergies until about 12 years ago, and I didn't realize how brutal they are. Uh, one day I was just on the floor, curled up in a ball, and then I thought I had the flu or something. It was just an allergy. Yeah, and I, I've had been lightheaded, and it's terrible. Just yeah. terrible, but and I, you know, at least if if I had a temperature or something, I'd go to the hospital and say, okay, it's maybe it's the coronavirus or something, but it's not. You know, I I don't have I don't have a temperature, I don't have a cough, uh, I do have a, a kind of a heavy sense of breathing and stuff, but that's allergies, and my nose is dripping. That's it. Yeah. Eyes are watering. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's just not fun. Uh, there are things to take for it. Well, I've tried that. I have this nose spray, but that has ceased to work for me. I think if you use something too long, you become kind of immune to it. It doesn't have its effect. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so I, I take, um, uh, what's the stuff that, uh, um, uh, 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 uh the uh, nose spray. I'm trying to remember the name of it now, but I'm using Flonase. Yeah, I'm using the uh, generic version from Kirkland, which is Costco. I just put it in my nose again, but it just does nothing. Just does nothing. So, and I can't take I can't take uh, those pills because the trouble with the pills are that. Uh, they cause me uh, because I have a prostate thing going. It it can cause a problem that way. Okay. Uh -oh. Yeah. So you should not take it if you have prostate problems. And you know mine's loaded with these seeds, and you know it's larger than usual. And uh, so I don't take any of those uh, over the counter uh, uh, prescri uh, prescriptions drugs that might be able to help me. It's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. So I can't take what would help me, and what's supposed to help me doesn't work anymore, so I give up. Well, they say you, uh, allergies are caused, you have allergies because you have a very strong immune system. Really? Mm hmm Is that why you have allergies? High price to pay. Yeah, your body actually, your body overreacts, your immune system overreacts to the allergens and Oh, really? Yeah. Well, then maybe it's good to know that I've got allergies. So maybe you won't get the corona. <laughs> My corona. Uh, speaking of which, how's the corona going for you guys out there? Boy, they're going crazy out in out in the hinterlands. 
And yeah, you're uh, how are you still you're still locked down, right? Well, we're still locked down. Um, uh, although it, it, you know, I I love New Yorkers because when they have to do something, they do it. And we have lowered our I think our death rate today is seventy nine, which is the lowest it's been in the entire course of this thing. So uh, we're heading down towards the zero mark, and that, that will probably make everybody very happy. But the trouble is, people are going outside. I went outside yesterday, and uh, I saw a lot of people not wearing masks. Uh, and that's a dangerous assumption. You know, I mean, I know you don't like putting the mask on, okay? Oh, it doesn't, my face doesn't look pretty with it on. But it's the one thing that prevents you from giving it to other people and other people giving it to you. It's just simple. And uh, now I live in a predominantly black neighborhood, so maybe I'm being a little off about this. But I found the largest amount of people out there who weren't wearing masks were black people. (laughs) Uh, And they've been saying, oh, well, you know, black people have been getting this at a disproportionate rate. There seems to be some reluctance among blacks, at least in my neighborhood, to wearing masks. You know, and and keeping the social distancing and all of that. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a distrust for for the government, you know, or a feeling that they've, they've been outsiders in the society and therefore why should they suddenly become an inside? I don't know what the thinking is. But all I know is... It's killing black people in this country at a disproportionate rate. I haven't seen the figures, but is it really uh, much higher? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Part of the problem is that a lot of them are are poor, so they live in projects, and the projects are very dense in population. You know, it's a population density. And uh, they, they, they literally give it to each other. Uh, there are other reasons too, but I, I don't think it has to do with neglect on the part of the uh, uh, part of the bureaucracy, as it were. Uh, I just think that it has to do with uh, the fact that there are still many blacks in poverty or Hispanics as well, and uh, that causes a, um, a disproportionate amount of people because of that density of population where they live. Also, the jobs they take are jobs they can't give up, so they have to go to them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so all those factors, sociological and psychological, cause, um, cause a disproportionate amount. I mean, we could say, hey, you know, I'm an old guy. I'm 80 years old, and I am part of that risk group as well. Uh, but it has nothing to do, I guess, with, uh, with uh, race or anything like that, so. Well, the density thing is huge. Like California has been pretty low because they, most people don't do public transit. They drive their car. Yeah, yeah. Whereas I guess in New York, the subway apparently was a huge culprit in this spread of that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, I mean, you, you go, okay, um, you know, um, what do we do about that? Well, I mean, what we're doing, what they're doing here in New York is they're doing a lot of research into the areas where it is the highest and why it is the highest and uh, what do we do about making it not disproportionate where blacks are concerned and Hispanics are concerned. Uh, I think it's not so much blacks and Hispanics, if you want my opinion. I think it's, it's uh, <clears throat> what do you call it, uh, um, class. It's a class distinction. Money. Well, money. money, yeah. People who are poor are more susceptible to this sort of thing because, A, they don't have the medical ability to get immediate medical aid, and uh, they are, um, uh, you know, they, they have to live in projects and they, all those things. So I, and I, in a way, I get a little disgruntled when I hear that, oh, this is a black problem. No, it's a problem that afflicts the poor. And I think that's where we have to look at it. Uh, uh, it's just the black community yells and screams about, oh, it's disproportionate among blacks. Oh, it's disproportionate among poor people. You know, I'm sure Beyonce isn't getting 
the, the <laughs> you know, the plague, as it were, as yeah, our sure. president yeah. calls it. So what, what's it like out there these days? Uh, California has been going through a lot of weird changes on this deal. Yeah, we have, uh, I guess the state is starting to open up, although the Bay Area and L.A. are keeping the counties on lockdown. So yeah. I don't know when we're going to get that's what I was going to ask you. When do you think we'll act? Will we ever get back to normal? Well, I think there are going to be parts of the. Well, that's hard to say. I, I think there are parts of the country that will get back to normal just simply because their population is dispersed enough. You know, you go up to Montana, you can, you know, go out and take a walk and never see another human being. In New York City, I walk out my front door and I'm dodging p p potential um, infectors, you know. So, I mean, th that has a lot to do with it. We, we have a person, a friend who lives in the building who has a car, and they said they've actually taken their car and left the city and gone up to the, up to the mountains and taken walks, which has been great for their mental yeah. stability. I think part of the reason I'm so tired all the time, and I have this just this amazing fatigue it might have something to do with the operations and stuff that I had but uh, it, I think it, it basically is is a function of the fact that I haven't been out in almost what 75 days 76 days I don't know how many That's days unbelievable. <laughs> you know I mean I've been out I think a total of three times for about 20 minutes each time I don't know how you do that well, I've got a big enough apartment, but I think it's finally starting to get to me. I yeah, think you I need to. Uh, you're probably lacking a little vitamin D. Well, I mean, I'm tired. Yeah. Okay, why am I tired? I'm tired because uh, I'm probably getting depressed. You know. Uh, you lose. Don't you lose the track of days? There are times when Marjorie and I look at each other and go, what, what day of the week is this? The only reason we know what day of the week it is because she works five days a week, even here at home. So she knows that, hey, I've done Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Sometimes she'll say to me, is this Saturday yet? You know, because you do lose all sense of, of time. And then this week we had the Memorial Day holiday, so that even threw it off more. Because, uh, you know, so uh, today's Tuesday, I imagine. Yeah. When we're recording this, it'll probably be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever, whenever we play it. But uh, I had to think today, what day is this? And, oh, hey, I've got to do a show tonight. You know, I, it, I think right after I'm through here, I have to do uh, an interview with my ex-wife. And then uh, I'm, go I'm just going to get out. I don't care. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm putting yeah. on the gloves, putting on the mask. And I'm going to go out there and dodge these people who are trying to kill me. Well, suppose, of course, I read so much about this thing, but the last thing I read was the transmission of this virus outside is virtually nil. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Huh. I still think you got to keep your social distance. Yeah, but they say to the point that they don't even think you need a mask but outside. Inside's different, but. Yeah, but all you need is for somebody near you to cough. And those particles, you know, with a good cough, a particle can go about 25 feet. Uh, but so, they say outside, I think the sunlight helps even the cough and kills it midair. I don't know. Well, I, I don't, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't bet on that because we've made a lot of assumptions during this whole thing. We've had a lot of medical advice, and most of it's been wrong. It's all been the first model. We're, two million people were going to die. That was the first model. Yeah, and they were probably right if we didn't do anything about it. That was the model without doing anything about it. So we did something about it, you know. Uh, uh, Trump keeps saying, well, you know, you've got all those hospital beds that we gave you in New York, and you never used them. Well, good. We're glad we never used them because we rolled up our sleeves and nipped this thing in the bud. So, you know, so, I mean, it... it but but the assumptions, you know, like they've had assumptions like uh, uh, if you get a box, a cardboard box that comes from, like, Amazon, be sure you spray it with disinfectant first. And right. they say now that it doesn't travel on boxes. I, said that, uh, I think the first reports, didn't it, it lived for 19 days on plastic surfaces. 
yeah. No, it doesn't live at all around. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it, what it is, we were, we, were, we were going from a position of being completely unknowledgeable on the subject to the point where we're getting to be experts, okay? Uh, but uh, And there's still a lot of that going around, you know, where we don't, we don't know what the, uh, what the deal is. But it, it just, oh, God, I just wish, I, I'm going to go out today and take a walk. I've got to. I've just got feel to. feel better. Do it. And not feel that I'm being put upon by this virus. Larry, it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> Not permanently, I hope. I hope not. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Bubbles Brown. Bye, Alex. <laughs> Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And that was Larry Bubbles. You know him. Last name, Brown. Okay, how are you, everybody? Good to see you. I'm um, sorry if his audio was a little on the low side. Um, problem was there uh, that uh, for, he has, he does not have a good phone. Uh, and I have uh, old phones back here. I have one that's in pretty good shape that would suit him just well. But I want him to guarantee me that he will put it into use. And um, uh, so far I haven't gotten that assertion from him. See, I have this phone, so I don't need that phone, okay? But it's the last one. It's the last big one uh, that I had. The, the, the most recent one I had, I actually traded in. But anyway, where are we? Oh, let's, uh, let's go over and uh, let's see if I can push the button here and it'll do it. There we go. There's the map, the dreaded map of the coronavirus around the world. Uh, we are just a stone's throw uh, from uh, 6 million worldwide. We're up at uh, 15, 5, 5,923,055 people, okay? Of that, 36,064, 364,000, I never, I can't read numbers right, 836 are dead. Here in the United States, here, look at this one. We're up to 102,809 people dead. Shall I emphasize that? Let me emphasize that. There we go. Can you see that, folks? Yes, you can see that. 802,809 people who are dead, okay, out of uh, 1,745,930 totally confirmed. Now, I would like to say that this death thing is due to the fact that here in New York they're dying like flies but do you know how many total people died today in uh, yesterday in New York City 59 I was looking at the rest of the country and I don't have it here right now but New Jersey has more than we do and a lot of other states have more than we do we were actually on the low end for the United States for the amount of deaths in one day and that's because we have practiced social distancing. Uh, Brazil, uh, number two, they're up to 27,879 deaths with uh, 465,166 people uh, confirmed with having it. Uh, Russia has fallen behind now. They're at 387,632, and they've only had 4,374 deaths. And that's our death chart for tonight. I'm just a little happy news that we'd like to present to you out there. A uh, couple of things. Uh, number one, uh, who knows how well Skype is going to work tonight. Last night I had trouble getting people on. I finally got them on, and at least I know what the workaround is, so we'll do the workaround. I'm going to clean my glasses. I like to get nice, clean glasses so I can see a nice, clean screen. Uh, anyway, um, but last night I was having trouble with Skype because somewhere along the line, Skype changed Skypes on me, all right? I have this thing. See, I don't have the Skype a lot of you have. I have a version that's called Skype Preview, and what it is is the next version of Skype, and uh, they supposedly now have released this everywhere. It seems as though uh, the picture uh, that we used to get on Skype, which had a bunch of little circles and only had the four top people to call, 
It now does up to, t what, nine people on a screen? Okay, up to nine people on a screen. I guess they're being given a bit of a push and a shove by the people over there at, uh, at, uh, uh, at uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 Zoom, okay, Zoom. So they're trying to out-Zoom Zoom, and they can't out-Zoom Zoom because Zoom is out Skype Skype, uh, and it's, it's pretty amazing uh, what's been going on. But anyway, we now have our lines are open, okay? Uh, and you can give me a call, and I will be able to take that call, and we'll see how many people can get on without a, a real problem tonight. Uh, who knows what, what's going to happen. Um, usually the first call comes through okay, so whoever that's going to be will solve the problem. But uh, wait a minute, let me just uh, i got to do a little, little changing here of uh, stuff. There we go. And then I gotta go look and see what the picture looks like. Okay, here comes Phil Meyer, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Phil, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, he's there. Okay, so he's on. Now let's see what happens with Rob Alfano. Oh, these people are getting shut down, but wait a minute. Is Rob coming on? No. No. See? We got the same problem we had last night. Okay, uh, 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 Brian Neary, no. All you people, stop calling. Stop calling. Uh, let me call you one of you. One of you. Well, here's Charlie Wallace from last night, but he's, I'm, I just lost him. D don't call right now, okay? Let me yeah. here. I'll go. I'll call Charlie, and I will call Rob, and I will call, uh, let me see here. Let me add them and see what happens. See if they, if they join. Um, let's see here. Rob Alfano is able to join us now, and uh, Brian Neary, is he able to? No. Let me see here. Let me add Charlie Wallace once again. Let me call him back and see what happens to Charlie. All right, there's, uh, there's who we have so far. Charlie, are you, are you getting me? Oh, boy. This is just... This is such a cluster, you know what. Um, uh, I, I'm trying here. Here, there, there's Jeff, but he doesn't come through. There's Charlie, but I and I called you, Charlie. You should just answer your line, and you will probably get us. Okay, all right. They're they're calling Charlie Wallace, and uh, now I'm going to call Jeff Zeller. Uh, let me see here. Add. Okay, there we go. We got Charlie, and uh, it says Jeff is unavailable. I th I don't think that's true, but we'll try this again. Let me try it again. Jeff, uh, no, doesn't answer. Okay, well, uh, I don't know what that's all about. Uh, Rob, let me put you in the top slot. Okay. Uh, 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 what? <laughs> What's going on? The shop outside? What's going on at the Alfano residence? Oh, here comes Kevin. Kevin? Do, uh, are you on, Kevin? No. Oh, jeez. You know? And all of a sudden, we'll find that this starts to work eventually. Okay? Let me see here. I just, uh, uh, Kevin is unavailable. Are you unavailable, Kevin? I'm calling you, Kevin. I'm going to try you again. Calling Kevin. Kevin, answer your Skype. There we go. Kevin has joined. And now I'm going to try Jeff one more time. Okay. Uh, uh, there we go. It, it says Jeff is unavailable. Oh. Huh? And, and tonight, uh, can you turn on? Are you there, Kevin? Yeah. Would you turn on your camera? Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. We had to do that when you call us. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Now, let me try once again with Jeff. Ah, this is this is such a, you that know. It's strange I'm, why that's doing that. Well, I, I don't know. 
I have no I idea. I waited for everybody to clear out until you said, okay, I give up. And then I said, okay, I'll call them now. Okay, now I'll add, uh, I'm calling Jeff, and will he pick up? Probably not. No, unavailable. No. He might be trying to reboot. No, don't try to reboot. I'll try him one more time. Here we go. Adam, come on, come on. You can, they, well, no, they, there's a, there we go, here we go. Oh, Bree is calling, but uh, Bree is like, he, he can't get in either, so I'm going to have to call Bree back. Bree, just call me back when you get a chance. Oh, I, you know what, I, I let me see here, calling Bree. Let's see if Bree, uh, bu 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 bum. I don't know. I there don't know. he is. There he is. Okay. Yeah. We, got, we got Bree there. Okay. How oh, can, how can... a heck of a t trying to get through. Yeah, me too. It still yeah. says on my screen you're not available and leave a message. Oh, really? Let me, yeah. Yeah. Let me look at my yeah, Skype. Yeah, until you called me, I couldn't get it. Now it went down. Let me look at my Skype preferences again. Let me see here. What I can't even figure out what I'm supposed to be Josh doing. Josh was trying to call too, he says. Josh is trying to call? Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Yeah, getting a lot of huh. uh, messages. There, there we go. Brian, I just got this new uh, Brian little Neary. audio board I'm trying to figure uh, out. Okay, just tr forget that for a moment. Uh, okay. okay, just forget that while I'm trying to. Oh, God, this is ridiculous. I I get, I give I'm going I'm going to Zoom with the show I I swear, um, yeah. Let me see here Skype, uh, uh, bu, 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 um, Skype, uh, Brian Neary. Okay, Brian. Okay, now I'm going to add Brian and call him. Let's see here. Is he call and and like last night? Remember we got all those people. Now we don't have them anymore. Oh, grid, oh, three by three grid. There we go. We will be able to do more. There we go. Okay, now, Brian Neary, missed call. Son of a bitch. I am just so, I'm so pissed at, at, at um, these assholes at, uh, at Skype. Let me once again try and call Brian Neary. Uh, Brian. Okay, there's Brian, and then I go add. Okay, and it's not even it's not even calling him. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh well, I give up. I give up. This is just getting to be too uh, too crazy. Try uh, Josh. Huh? Uh, Try okay, Josh. hold on. Waiting. Hold on a second. First of all, let me just get uh, you in here, Kevin. Kevin. Okay, hog rider, and uh, who else uh, do we, uh, Bree. Bree, I gotta get Bree, uh, put him in here, Bree, okay, Bree, okay, okay, now here comes Jeff, and I, I click on him and nothing happens, nothing happens. Uh, this is, this is, this is oh, wait, he's going by his wife's name, Pam, though. Isn't yeah, yeah, I, oh, oh, you know okay. what I'll do? I'll try, well, no, that's what I'm, that's what I've been clicking on. Oh, okay. Is, as I get a list of people who tried to call, okay, I'm going to try Brian, okay, calling Brian Neary, and then I'm going to go calling uh, uh, Jeff, let me see here, calling Jeff Zeller. Add, okay, okay, well, Jeff, it says unavailable, and it's still calling Brian Neary. Brian, if you're listening to us, pick up, pick up. Oh, boy, well, I, I give up on this. I'm just, you know, oh, boy. Mm. Hi, everybody. Oh, here we go. Here's Brian Neary calling, okay. Let me see. See, it doesn't. Are you there, Brian? No. No. And then I, I try to call Brian, and it doesn't. Um, 
uh, Brian Neary. Brian Neary. Add. Okay, we're calling Brian again, hoping that he will pick up. But Hopefully he'll know the phrase that pays. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to also see where in my preferences uh, it, there is a. Uh, uh, wh where's Where's my thing where I say whether I'm? Uh, there goes Josh again. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to. Uh, you know, I hate to have to spend ten minutes of valuable air time trying to do this. Okay. Um, okay. Here's Josh Wheeler calling again. Josh. You know what would be interesting is if you set it up while the recording was all going on and then just kept us down and then you brought us all up when when uh, when it was time. Calling set Brian it up Neary. like while you're in record mode, like while you're in playback. And it mode. says Josh Wheeler is unavailable. Now how come he's unavailable? You know? Yeah, look, Brian Neary unavailable, Josh Wheeler unavailable. I give up. Yeah, I, I think there's it. something. Go I think there's something going on with your Skype account because it takes multiple times to get through. Something's going on. There, yeah, there is. Be. There is something very wrong with this. Okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, and it, it's something very wrong with Skype, and uh, there, you know, and I could. It can't. I don't know that it could be your Skype client though, because it's happening before. Like, do you? Do you hear, like, I tried, like, four times to get through or five times before you called me back. So, obviously, you know that I'm calling you, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so then it may be your client. Like, it's not, like, it's not getting to your client. Yeah. Okay, here's uh, Brian. Uh, Josh is telling me he says he's available. It says right there he's available. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Brian Neary. It never rang there. You see, it's calling Brian Neary, but he's he's not picking up, but he called me. Okay, now I will try and call Josh Wheeler, and I will try and add him. It says, calling Brian Nearing, calling Josh Wheeler. And it yes, says, Josh Jack. Wheeler joined. Okay, Brian Neary, now we need to have him join. Hi, Josh, how are you? Josh. Hello. There we go. He's, uh, let me put him in here. Calling Brian Neary, calling Brian Neary. It's call did, it, was, did, you, did you just pick up when I called you? Josh, or did yeah. you just try again? Uh, yeah, I just uh, uh, picked just like a normal call. Yeah, it says it's calling Brian Neary, but then it stopped calling Brian Neary. Yeah, you get that so, uh, the person you're calling is unavailable message yeah. many times, and then eventually it just works. I can't explain that. Charlie Wallace, let me see here. Where, where, who, who I got? Uh, uh, Josh. Go. Piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's a piece of shit. It really is, and it's I mean, they changed the look. I see. They finally got their shit together there, but well, no, but yeah, what I'm, they've done, what they've done they is they've they've, so. they've screwed this up. Like it used, remember, it used to be screwed up this way before. Right. And then no, but this is only when you call us. If I yeah, call I mean, you, it, you get the old circles. Are well, they fixed? No, something actually, they something actually, else. actually, if you go to the I very top, see see the square, see business. the square at the very top. You know, no. there's a circle with a square in the middle. Yeah, that's the. Uh, click, click on yeah. click on that, and it has a drop down menu. And the drop down menu on, on mine Skype at least says that out. three by three grid is in preview. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. So then you you get yeah. more people on the screen at a time. Yeah. What about Skype for Business? Look who's falling asleep. Phil's falling asleep. He had to be up so I'm early today, asleep. right? I was up at six a.m. Yeah, uh, Phil. How how early were you up today? Let, let me also tr let me try Brian Neary one more time. Hold on a second, because I I want I'd like to have Brian here, and I'd like to have uh, uh, Jeff here. But uh, okay, I'm calling Brian Neary. Call him Brian Neary. Brian, you're being called, and then I and then he calls and I answer it, and um, it's still calling Brian Neary. Hello, Brian. You're not there, are you? Oh boy, that's amazing. That's amazing. Well, you know. And then I call Jeff Zeller. Okay. And uh, there, there we go. Uh, Brian nearly tried to call again. Uh, this is this is a clusterfuck. 
I, I'm, I'm, I'm fed up with Skype. Um, yeah. What about Skype for business? Huh? What about Skype for business? Well, they're probably trying to force me to go to Skype for business. No, <laughs> Skype for business is going away. Teams is replacing it. It's being, it's, oh, uh, being okay. uh, de deprecated. Tony Magno was able to join, and Jeff Zeller, is he able to join? No. You don't, you don't no. want that Teams. There's a whole other. Yeah, I know okay. that's not that's not great either. But Skype for Business is is uh, has already been announced by Microsoft that it's being deprecated. Right. It's gone. What? That teams, I'm on Teams man. right now. That's how I'm communicating with some of my program managers. Right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, but, Even on a Saturday. Okay. Yeah, we use it, but we've been already told we have to get off of it. Alex, I just told Brian that you're going to call him and to answer. What? I just uh, told Brian <clears throat> to call that you were going to call him, and mm -hmm. then he, I told him to answer. He says I'm listening, but nothing's coming through. Yeah, it, it doesn't go through That's a lot of times. I mean, too. I heard you oh, tried to okay. call me. Okay, I'm, I mean, I'm calling Brian right. Neary now. Okay, I'm adding Brian Neary. Okay, yes. so let's hope he picks up. Not his fault, really. It's probably not even ringing on his end. Who knows? Who knows? It says calling Brian Neary. Man, you, hey. you would never know that this country put a man on the moon. What the fuck? You know what I mean? With a hell of a lot less technology <laughs> than we need goddamn today. cell phones. Well, if, he, if, he, he, if these guys that are going up tomorrow were sent up there by Skype, they'd be dead. <laughs> God, Don't man, put go. Yeah, uh, you know, I mean, I just is amazing to me, and I, it stopped. Uh, st I keep asking him for it to, to call Brian Neary, and I have it call Jeff Zeller. Uh, let me see here. It's still calling Brian Neary and still calling uh, Jeff Zeller, and um, I mean, I just wish I could get them on. I, uh, you know, this this is very daunting, very daunting. Maybe a few minutes. Try again. And how long have I had to spend doing this tonight? It well, was there's, there's, last night. there's, we're only at 12 minutes. There's, so. there's, there's Jeff Zeller. <laughs> Jeff Zeller is there. Like, yes, okay, wow. so uh, uh, turn on your camera, Jeff. Are you there? Jesus. I'm trying. Yeah, turn your camera on. Jesus. Well, if you see her, tell her I love her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this thing is so fucked up. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> well. Uh, Wait a minute, and here comes Brian Neary. Let me see if he if he comes on. <laughs> no, no Brian Neary. And we also lost, uh, no, also some of the people got out of this grid that was supposedly set up. Oh, man, man, oh, man. I Brian. Don't have a picture Corbin of Colossus says, Alex, the show must go on. Stop diddling your connection. Brian <laughs> Neary. <laughs> Okay. Scott Boddicker is going to call in to F with Alex. I'm going to call Brian Neary again. I will hope. Scorpius, I hate this depressing part every night. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we all we all hate it, you know. Yeah, yeah, Jeff, you I haven't been able to turn your camera on yet? He's tired almost every day. Jeff? Uh, walks more during Jeff, the day. are you there, yeah. Jeff? Jeff? Not even <laughs> there. Nope, and Brian didn't. Neary tried calling, but nothing happened. Huh. Uh, He's writing me at the moment. Yeah. Uh, Brian yeah. called somebody else. I don't know. Huh? And I don't know what happened to Jeff Zeller. Well, I'll get rid of him. What the hell? <laughs> maybe, maybe he muted. Yeah. Removed from call. There we go. I removed him from the call. From the call. Oh boy. This is just. <laughs> well, it took 15 minutes last night. We still got 30 seconds. Uh, Brian says uh, he knows, but there's no ring on his side. It just shows a missed call. Can you send him the link? What link? <laughs> I have an option. It says send, send him the link. Where Where do you have that? Uh, under add people. I can call him. I can message him. I can share the link to join the group. Okay, Alex, hold on, hold on a second. Let me, let me, let me just go try that little piece of cluster fuckering. Uh, <laughs> let me see here, Brian Neary. Okay. Oh, and sh share a link to join group. Yeah. Okay. 
Brian Neary, Kevin, and seven others share group via link. Okay. Uh, let me. Let me see. One of the things share you should also link. do is uh, I recommend everybody do constantly delete the old conversation. So I do that delete. every night. Yeah. Yep. As soon as I hang up, delete, remove, yeah. leave, right. leave group. Correct. It yeah. stops those. It stops those 1 a.m. calls when somebody's trying to join an old group and yep. my, my yeah. phone oh, starts ringing. That's what that <laughs> is. Alan, yeah. Send, I think uh, he's uh, he's expecting it. Well, I don't know. I you know it, here here's what happens with that. Okay. Well, I, it's trying it now. Like I go to uh, Jeff Zeller and it says, uh, share a link to join group. Where do, how do you send it to them? Huh? You How click you on their it? circle. Well, oh, okay. th yeah, then I, I go to share link to join group, and then it says add anyone to the group by sharing this link with them, even if they're not on Skype. Really? Oops. Share, and then I clicked on share group via link. Okay. So I shared the link, but then it, it I, I, that, one thing I can do, I can also email it, but I don't have Brian's email, you know. So I can't do that. So what does it do? Does it show up in their chat when you share a link with them? Does it open I, up a chat? I, I have an idea. I have an idea for something. Let me go to Facebook here for a second. Let me then put this up. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. Post. Uh, Brian and Jeff, if you're listening to me, go over to my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash a Bennett. Okay and then click on the link that's there. Click on the Skype pay picture, the Skype picture. And that should make you be able to call, but I don't know if that's gonna do it, you know. Uh, call, call me if you find this and have not got through first. Same thing with, uh, well, oh, Josh is there now, so we don't have mm -hmm. that problem. Um, but uh, just go over to my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash A Bennett, and then uh, there's a thing I just put up there, and uh, HTTPS uh, join Skype, it has an actual Skype link, all right? I just told him to go to your Facebook page. Yeah, let's see what happens. Gee, we just spent the whole show doing this. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, I'm sorry, Skype. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? What I would do tonight is just forget Skype, and I've got everything set up so I can put this in a Zoom panel and put it on. And you guys could all go over to my Facebook page and click on the Zoom uh, 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 invite. But let's just wait. I want to see what happens. Is, is, is Brian trying? I don't know. By the time you arrange all that, we'll be in that, into uh, the intersection. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. How does he yeah. get those people on? Well, but he he I you know, he's using to begin with he's using an older version of of Skype. I'm using this preview version. Isn't that yeah. wonderful? Why don't you get off the preview version? Uh, I might dump the preview version tomorrow. Uh, he's right. Uh, he says uh, give me a minute. I'm going there now. Uh, okay. Right. Well, let's see what happens. And if that doesn't get it, we'll worry about it tomorrow. Either that or, you know, uh, I mean, I do have a, I do have an ability to go to Zoom here, you know, uh, but I would have to post that link for everybody, and then you'd have to all call me and give it a try. Uh, you'd have a half hour left. I have a half hour. Do, no, I have, I have uh, 40 what, minutes left. Don't well, rush I mean, me. No, I mean, I mean, if you did that, by the time everybody got on, it would be 11:30. And we still got to troubleshoot my audio. No, we we're not going to troubleshoot your audio. No, no. Just put that thing away. We're not troubleshooting your audio. Read the manual. I don't. Huh? Hey, you got sound effects? Huh? Yeah. Oh. It's, in, it's all in Chinese. Nice. Good. Oh, Chinese. Uh, it, it, did Neary say he tried? Uh, uh, he says, give me a minute. Well, I, we haven't got a minute anymore. We, we got this was uh, like uh, 25 bucks. Yeah. Uh, uh, we got bigger fish to fry here, Bree. Uh, uh, I'm trying to Big think. Fish. I guess Brian isn't trying us. 
Uh, as he's going over there now, give him a minute. Well, I mean, we've given him three yeah, minutes. More than a minute. We give, 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 give him about five minutes here since we did this. He's from California. Um, so it looks like the U.S. is crumbling. Yeah, well, uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Well, in fact, we'll have a second to talk about it at mm -hmm. the rate we're going. Um, By that time... It'll be burned up. You know, we have so we have so screwed up tonight's show that I'm thinking that maybe what I should do is I should uh, hang up on all of you. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on. Oh, yeah, that might you be do good that. Idea. We're all screwed. Screwed. Wait a minute. I'm going to hang up on all of you. And yeah, what, 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 what I'm, what I'm going to do... Spend another forty minutes calling us back. No, if you if you go if you go to my if you go to my if you go to my Facebook page, and click on the Zoom, uh, I will be able to uh, see you. Uh, let's see what happens there. Uh, okay, I got an idea. Wait a minute. Uh, how 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 many of you have, can go to my Facebook page? Yes, I, I have to open up Facebook. Hmm? Go, uh, are you on my Facebook page? Not yet. Not yet, huh? Yeah, I'm on the Facebook page. What do you want me to do? Well, well, oh, well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. You're on the Facebook page? Yeah. Okay, click on that link. Let's okay. see what, what happens uh, with you. Oh, I'm, I'm on it on my phone. You can't. You can't do it. You can't be connected to fa uh, Skype. Well, and, well, here comes Vernon uh, Nunn trying to call, and uh, will he suddenly get connected? No. No. See? Oh, boy. Uh, well, you know what I'm going to do? What's that? Go for it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang up Skype, Oh. and I want you to all go over to facebook.com forward slash A Bennett, and there is a link there. It says... Um, Click here. Uh, click on. Uh, click on. Join the, uh, Zoom meeting, right? Yeah. Uh, click on the uh, join Zoom meeting. All right. Uh, okay. I'll use my phone. Hold on a second. Participants. No. no none of you. Have you any of you tried yet? Uh. Should I? I guess I'll hang up on this. Uh, well, uh, let me look. Let me just hang up and I'll wait and see if any of you call me. Okay. Yeah, I just don't want to okay. end up on Facebook. Okay. Uh, well, you're not going to wind up on Facebook. You're going to wind up going to Zoom. Oh, you're not going to broadcast it on, it on no. Facebook? No. Oh, no, no, no. This is going to Zoom. All right? Okay. Okay. Let me, uh, let me sign out here. Let me quit Skype. Okay. And now I'm hoping that people are going to call me on there because here's what it looks like. It's kind of, uh, it's, um, this is the... Oh, well, this is not working well either, is it? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, here comes Phil Meyer. Okay. Hello, uh, Phil. How are you? Phil, are you there? Oh, wait a minute. Phil? Uh, do I have any audio? Yeah. There you go. No. You don't have any audio? Phil? Hold on. I've got to do some work here. I've got to adjust the Zoom panel. Did you see me? Hmm? There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait a minute. I see what we got to do here. I got to make this so it. Yeah. So it. Uh, so it's here. All right. There is. Okay. Uh, I need. Um, let's see here. I need everybody's picture though. Oh, why don't I? There. There we go. How do I get? Every, oh, I see. Gallery view. There we go. It's nice. Okay, there we go. All righty. Uh, can you all uh, hear me so far? Hold on a second. Oh, yeah, you're clear. Oh, yeah. Let me do this. Let me do this now. I got I to gotta change the way the picture looks, and we shall be okay, I think. All right. There we go. All right. There we go, folks. Our first show on Zoom. Uh, wow. Wow. Amazing, huh? Okay. And here come more people. I, I don't know if you can hear me, but... Uh, I can hear you. Can you hear I us? Hear you. Can, and everybody else hear me? 
We hear yeah. you. Do you hear me? Let's yeah. This, yeah. Uh, I hear you. Yeah. Phil can't hear us. Phil is confused. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Well, look, we're getting all these You sound these fine, Phil. He can't hear you, he can't hear. I, I can hear you now. You can hear us now, Phil? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's go in and, and change the setting. Yeah. And Bree, you got to turn on your camera. Your Zoom camera seems on. better than Skype. Yeah. It is better, yeah. It is yeah, better. Yeah, you're so clear. Wow. Rob, you are totally clear. I mean, everybody's audio is so sharp. Yeah. I can even see yeah. the bricks. I can even see Phil's awards. Yeah, you know why he's clear? He's a Scientologist. Oh, you lay it on the rock. <laughs> what? <laughs> the best. It's a, when you get clear, you, it's a thing in Scientology. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> they used to always be by the trains when they used to come out. You want to put your fingers in that little thing? I said, yeah, sure, get away from it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Crazy. I'm just trying to uh, make so this. So the, the person that talks is the main screen? No, yeah. no. At the top, it says, at the very top, it says view. And see where yeah. it says gallery? It's up to you. Okay. Hey, there's so many ways you can do it. At the top. Chat, but... Manage participants. Yeah. Yeah. I can also, if I don't like what you have to say tonight, Phil, I can just start bleeping you out. Yeah. You can you can do that? Now yeah. I feel yeah. like I'm at work on Saturday. Yeah, right? Yeah. He looks good. So brief. Well, everybody looks good, you know, and I'm in the middle up here. <laughs> it's really good. But, but it's out of sync. It's not exactly in sync. But I got the gallery view. This is great. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So anyway, so where are we? <laughs> it only took us a half hour. It is eleven twenty-eight, and, and I am uh, burning cars in New I'm York out of right? sync. So are you recording? What? I'm not. No, I don't need to record. I'm am recording on. Uh, this is going through uh, OBS. Oh, okay. So I don't need to record. Okay. I mean, if I wanted to do this show and record directly to YouTube using uh, Zoom, I could do it, but I just couldn't play all the openings and things like that and all the graphics and um, all the various things like that. That's the problem. And I'm going to send you a, a, a thing uh, tomorrow. Um, there's a channel that I watch that I've been using for all the radio production. Uh, mm -hmm. It's this guy called M. RC name is Mike Russell and he has all these instructions on OBS and how to how to make it work really well with Zoom. Okay, well send it to me, but I I've, yeah, well, I've looked online for those things and they're far too complicated. They don't really work. This guy's know. pretty cool. I'll send it to you. Have a look at it. Yeah, well, I'd love to see it. I would love to see it. But like for instance, you know I'm not in sync right now. I'm about a second behind. You know, but so you know what's on nice the on things? the air, not in not in. We see it fine, right? You're talking about on air, right? I see right. Rob's name when you. I kind of like when you talk, Rob. It comes up with your name underneath. Oh well. Well, it had. Yeah, to, you too. Yeah. Skype did yeah. it, so you had your name right in the middle. Okay. Like uh, now I'm, on Tuesday, I'll try again using Skype because who knows? Between now and then, they may solve their goddamn problem, and I'll also go and look and see in preferences if there's a uh, if there's something I'm not doing in Skype. You know what I like about this, Alex? You just put it on your Facebook page, and if they have the app, you may get quicker people, like other new people, to just click it and come right in. Yeah, well, I've done this. Uh, I've done this uh, 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 during the weekdays, and I've gotten a lot of brand new people that it's way. It's really nice to Zoom. I use it for my Dungeons and Dragons group. We play like this. Oh, the guy runs. Well, that's a good works. reason not to use it. But anyway, um, <laughs> so they're getting ready to run the White House. Oh God! They're what? Go in there. They're getting ready to run the White House. What? Who? 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 Tell me. The protesters, man. They're going to go they get Trump. They're going to turn him into a Cheeto. <laughs> he already is a up. Cheeto. I don't think they're going to be successful. No, yeah, they're not. To. But they're sure they're standing outside the door yelling at his ass. That can get ugly if he gets violent down there. They already caught one guy breaking through. Really? Oh, shit. Earlier, I think it's yeah. going to be a crazy summer. Do you think it's going to be a crazy on summer? Fire right now. Yeah. Alex, they're burning cars, my sister said. They're burning some cop cars in Brooklyn, my sister heard on the news. They're, they're, every major city has something going on. Really? Yeah. Every Bree, major city. Is Bree sharing a screen? Uh, uh, what are you doing, Bree? <laughs> it looks like he's. That place looks nice. You're sharing the you screen, have Bree. Come to my Zoom. I can do a lot of things on yeah, here. Well, don't, well, don't, well, you. don't do it. Just let's see you, okay? 
uh, because that that uh, that only uh, you shouldn't be able to share your screen anyway. Um, Not you can turn that screen. off, Alex. You can turn that off. I know. I I, I do have. I should. I have had it turned off. I don't. Know. I've got ultra premium <laughs> VIP status on this thing. Zoom and I go way back. Yeah, well, I could, I could, uh, I, I could take care of you not having, not being. Well, there's no way. Supposedly, there's no way. I don't because I don't have it up here that you can. I've turned off screen sharing. You know, because what I did is I, the first time I ever did this, I got what was called bombed, yeah. uh, Zoom bombed, and people started sharing their screens, but they were penises and vaginas and things like that. You know? Well, that's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Not when you're trying to do a show for the f entire family, okay? All right. But anyway, the only problem I have is that I am um, kind of uh, I'm 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 out of sync. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, so there. Uh, let, let's just try and do a show here, and then I'm going to go back and try Skype again on on. Uh, uh, maybe I won't do a show ever again. I don't know, but I'm going to try to see what happens with Skype. But at least we uh, got to try the Zoom here. And my only problem with Zoom is, is, is that the sync is off. Okay. So. Uh, do you know anything about uh, what's going on right now? Hong Kong, because of uh, what's going on, Trump has made uh, some statements that may affect Chinese businesses in the United States. And is that going to affect uh, Marjorie's bank? It might. He had, a, he had a, a 15 minute speech today, basically telling them to fuck off and walked away. Uh, no, oh. no, no. This is, this is, you know, not that kind of. Well, crap. I love what he said. He said something really, really that got me. And that was he said, well, they had a choice between a democracy or cat, uh, rather, uh, communism or the cat or capitalism. And they chose. Uh, one system. One system. Well, we had a choice, and we've only chosen one system. Okay, so what's the difference between us and them? By the way, I'm going to ban all phony backgrounds from people. The reason being that they don't look that good. No, because they put a big old blob on your head. Yeah, they put a glob on the side of you and Breeze so Breeze looks fine. Look at Breeze. It's like a perfect dome. It, well, it's, it, it's annoying because, it's annoying because A, it's distracting. Breeze is the best. Oh, and, and Brian, hi. How are you, Brian? Oh, See? Yeah, I was busy. I was busy. <laughs> See how easy it was? Hey, hey can, I ask, can I ask a question? <laughs> For the from the folks who got their money from the federal government with this whole COVID thing, mm -hmm. did it come on a card, an EIP card? No, I just got a check. Thing. Some people got a card. Yeah, I got this thing in the mail today, and I don't know where it came from. And it's got this logo on the bottom here. Well, I didn't get that. You got a debit card. I heard they were giving debit cards. Do, do they want your bank account number? No, it just says uh, it's a debit card, and it says. Just use here's your Im economic impact payment card enabled by Money Network. Yeah, what? How much did they give you? I don't know. I don't. I don't think I earned too much money to to get yeah, anything. I didn't get anything. Uh, why don't you uh, call the number that they got, and maybe they'll be able to tell you. It, it, it comes with like this credit card looking. It's a it's oh, it's yeah. just a Visa debit card. Uh, I got a check. There should be a way to call a number to find out how much money you're getting. You just go online and get it. It's it's the same way they used to they pay you with uh, like unemployment and stuff. They pay you with those cards. Huh. Rebate cards. Hmm. All right. Isn't that the way they pay stamps now too? That's how they did disability. That's how they do all that stuff now. We got a check though. Yeah, so if you got a check for a certain amount of time, and then after that amount of time, they started putting out the debit cards. But the, but I applied for unemployment too with the new uh, people who are their own business. Yeah, if you got unemployment, then they'll issue it on a debit card. I've got nothing, and I can't even get through on the phone. They keep saying. Yeah, well, you won't be able to. I've heard that if you apply by paper, it's the fastest way to go. Oh, I did it on the website. Yeah. I hear that they're going to have to do another stimulus plan. McConnell's going to have to open up the bank again, start printing money. You can't apply by paper and check. 
kind of go online. Yeah. yeah. The Congress has uh, passed something uh, almost unanimously uh, to uh, make the PPP for the small businesses a little more palatable. Uh, I don't know if it's going to get through the Senate and, uh, and the President, but uh, they're going to give more time and they're going to change the ratio of uh, how much is uh, you, have, you can pay uh, bills and utilities and how much salaries. Uh, you it's know what I mean? 40. You know what I was reading, and I, and I tell you, but this is what I think they're going to try to do. I, I was going to ask Alex this. Thing. You might be able to answer this too, Phil, or anybody else. What they're going to do is how many of these people who are going back to work, the regular workers, you don't think the government's going to pass some kind of antitrust law so if the employee gets sick on the job, he can't sue? Because they're going to try to back these companies. Because if you get sick because your company is not compliant with the rules, they should have a ton of lawsuits on their ass. If I was a lawyer, I'd be licking my chops. If you because comply with the rules, Tony, you got workers' compensation insurance. And if somebody gets sick uh, and they get sick on the job, they're covered by workers' comp and there's no liability. They got he, there's no liability above and beyond workers' comp to the employer as long as they're not uh, uh, culpable in the uh, in the action. But don't you think these companies should be? But how many of these companies, small businesses, are going to follow the rules, Phil? I think most. Yeah, but, of them. Uh, we, I don't know anybody that's not. Yeah, we and we like we were an essential company, and we had a couple thousand people at our facility. And I mean, we were very lenient. You know, we talked to people and said, if you don't feel comfortable, don't be here. You know. And, but I was sort of worried about that too when two people got diagnosed with it like in early May or sorry, uh, early March. But mm -hmm. we've been fine. Will they give you time off though? Will they, if you get sick, say for a month or two, will they yeah. cover you? Uh, yeah, we did some comp compensation. Yeah. Okay. That's good then. I mean, you don't want to get sick. Well, this is the bigger right. companies I've heard do that. But some yeah. of these newer companies or smaller companies that are trying to come back have looked at insurance. And from what I've heard, there's a bunch of them that aren't going to open because some of the liability insurance is so expensive that mm. they're not even going to mess with it. They won't open up until things are settled down. They don't have to worry about it. What do they need liability for the COVID for? Yeah. It's a workers' comp issue. Yeah, but they're, they're increasing it or something. I don't know. I've got, uh, there's a baker out here that she won't mm. open up because she said my insurance is going to go sky high because, mm. uh, because of the COVID liability. Unless her anyway, insurance uh, uh, up, yeah. you know, she's on the same policy she was at the beginning yeah, let's, of the year. Let's get on another subject. Here. I don't know, but yeah, it's it's not really a good subject right now. Yeah, uh, because there's a lot going on in the country. At least five of our cities in the United States right now are on fire, and you say that you heard that they're attacking the Capitol? Yeah. Uh, by the White House. The White House. The White House, Dallas, Minneapolis, San Jose, San Jose, uh, San Jose, San Jose. Uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah Brooklyn. Two o'clock, they, yeah, two o'clock, they came from, uh, what was that, like, east side, sort of, but um, they went on the freeway, which there's nobody on the freeway anyways, but they went on the freeway, one guy attacked the car, smashing out the windows, and they walked mm -hmm. down to downtown San Jose. Yep, and through right they are now. L.A., too. Uh, they were on Highway 101 the other night, but uh, they hit the uh, CNN building in Atlanta. Oh yeah, they threw a flashbang in the in the lobby. At the, in they that. broke a hole, all the windows and stuff in the side of the building. Yeah, it was more mayor. than that in Atlanta. I was just watching it live. Yeah, uh, the, the, the people were right in front throwing rocks for a couple yeah. hours and uh, going to keep attacking. Keep directly I wonder why I wonder what yeah, are they pissed off going, at C yeah, what are they pissed off at CNN for what did yeah, CNN do yeah. they're not pissed off at CNN they're just pissed off at everything and that's, no, that's the problem they're pissed off at CNN because the CNN reporter got arrested oh that's yeah. right. well, wait a minute but they're pissed off at CNN yeah, because the CNN reporter CNN? got arrested aren't well, you shouldn't they be mad at the people who arrested them not yeah. CNN the, the people it's, who did that are the, the the people who did that one are on the other side. Uh, no, 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 that's not right. I was just watching it. Oh, sure. It happens all the time. Are you kidding me? I, I've been in a lot of these things. You have no idea. I, I used to, in graduate school, I used to have this uh, a group that, that would come to the co-op. They were called the Ruckus Society. And, okay, and there's a whole, there's a bunch of different ones of these, but 
nine times out of 10, when you see the violence occur, it's somebody who has a vested interest in the chaos. It's not usually because everybody in our group, we did potlucks together, we covered dish, we all knew every each other. But then we'd see something and be like, who's that guy? Like, And that was the person that would cause the trouble. So it's did all it someone like from Soros? outside. Did he look like George Soros? You know? <laughs> He's obsessed with Soros. But the mayor, the mayor was CNN very is fake, CNN is fake news. They yeah. got to be taken down, right? They they're arrested. Yes. So uh, Brian uh, Brian's got his hand. Brian. The mayor, the mayor was very very upset at that because they said the CNN is trying to report what's going on and giving them support, and then they go and do that to the Atlanta the headquarters. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Uh, Chaos. I I don't understand that. What do you mean they're on the other side of? what he's trying to say that they're uh right they're wing shoppers. they weren't though i saw who they were they weren't right wing people they were like oh, where did you see that i just watched it on Wait, the internet they're live. And then it's oh, before live. I came here they were they, they were all african-americans no and, they weren't they were mixed yeah they were mixed but it was I, i'll just say like at least three quarters and i don't care what race they were but i'm just saying it wasn't it didn't look like trump supporters or anything like that <laughs> thing, thing and also, is, they interviewed a guy who got arrested, and he said they're doing this because the cops are not being uh, trained correctly, and they're abusing us, and we have to do something. But then I was thinking, what are they? What are you attacking CNN for? So maybe, yeah, so it could be powerless. They don't have a voice, and they feel that you know doing anything gets the voice. There, there's all kinds. I mean, in chaos, I, why, there's no reason. That's why, what did, I'm saying. why did they burn? Why did they burn down 170 businesses in in Milwaukee? I not Milwaukee, in in um, Minnesota. Yeah. Minneapolis. 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 And, uh, you know, the thing is, uh, our, who, Al Sharpton got on the air uh, today and he said, you know, you shouldn't be burning down black owned businesses. Uh, only the white businesses. Don't what? burn down the black businesses. <laughs> he, he, didn't didn't say say that. That. he didn't say it. It doesn't matter what people say. say yeah. He did not say that, though. Al Sharpton said to burn down white businesses? <laughs> yes. I don't know who he did. He burn lying. down the black businesses. But he said to burn down white businesses? Oh, uh, he no, didn't. all he, he said was don't burn down black businesses. What's left? If you don't burn down the black businesses, you only got the white ones left oh, to burn down. Your the Asian. Turn down the Asian, the dry cleaners. Uh, that's true. Yes, got burned down. Don't burn down my Chinese restaurant. It's chaos. You no, know, you can't control chaos. They want to say something. Don't burn down any businesses. Exactly. Well, you know, it's too they, late. They have old, they have elderly people and people in those communities that that rely yeah. on that target, that rely on all those small, those even all yeah. those businesses there. And now, it's like when Alex takes a, a cab going to Costco or somewhere. Now these people can't have that convenience right now. Now if they go to Target for stuff, they're gonna have to go somewhere else. That's a good they, point. Yeah. They uh, they raided a uh, a pawn shop, and the owner of the pawn shop, I think it was called Cadillac Pawn. He um, pawn? Shot, pawn pa shop. Uh, pawn That's what I thought pawn. he said too. Pawn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like a pawn broker. Uh, pawn <laughs> broker. Dirty movies. It sounds uh, like Tony. Who is yeah, they? no, no. So anyway, this guy, the pawnbroker, he shot and killed uh, one of the protesters. Uh, do you know that he'll probably uh, be brought up on murder charges? Because if you shoot someone who's only taking property and your life isn't in danger, that's murder. You you cannot shoot someone for just taking property. Depends what state, right? Can't no, you? no. Uh, well, you know, is that person really a protester? You know, because it was a looter. When you say they, yeah, so that's a difference, and and that's that's what I'm saying. You got to look for because there are people who will take advantage of the chaos. Yeah, right. Yep. Yep. Opportunists. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Wasn't the chaos the opposite from the man from Uncle? What? <laughs> The Man from Uncle, you remember the TV show? I'm thinking of Get Smart Chaos. Oh, oh yeah, remember the shoes? Yeah. Get Smart. 1899. Yeah. Control. Yeah. My shoe is ringing. Yeah, you got control. You got control. It was made in 1899. I'm sorry if I'm not participating as much. I'm spending too much time trying to get this thing to look good. <laughs> Looks good. Awesome. It looks it looks all yeah. right. I mean, it looks good to you guys because uh, uh, Zoom yeah. Zoom is vastly superior to Skype. But it, it yeah. for my purposes, uh, 
uh, uh, folding it into Skype, uh, you know, t folding it into Zoom doesn't work as easily. Because uh, I got to take what I get here, you know. I mean, oh, yeah. I, I can make it so that, like, I've, what I just did is I made my picture was that completely out of sync. So what I did is I'm running my, my camera from my system on here, and it looks like it's one of the, one of the squares, but it really isn't. It's, it's uh, uh, me. So anyway, it's weird. So I, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you could switch to AOL Instant Messenger. What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's just, you know, what, what, it, what, what possesses people? I mean, isn't Microsoft like the biggest technology company in the world, practically? Yeah. Yeah? And don't they have most of the operating systems in the world, and shouldn't That's they know awful. what they're doing, you know? But uh, Skype is a free I, product, so. But Skype is a free product. Microsoft. And believe it or not, yeah. due to this incredible clusterfuck that we have going on here, uh, mm. we have a lot of people watching the program. <laughs> you know, they love to see it when I've got problems. <laughs> my, my friend who worked at Microsoft, she said, uh, because of the fact that they do have all the operating systems, all the other departments are a complete disarray. And there's well, this, no you know, rhyme or reason because they make all their money on the uh, on Windows. This has got a real problem here because uh, you know with Skype because this shouldn't happen. All of a sudden, the rules should not change from last week. Okay, it's just that somebody said, "Oh, we'll do this and we'll do that," but they didn't forget to do a patch here, and so ne therefore, when I'm when people are trying to make uh, conference calls, it falls apart. Now, maybe they're trying to sell their new service, which is going to cost money, and they're trying to make this one seem like it's crap. But what, what's going to make me want to do Skype for businesses or whatever this new thing is called if, if in fact, I'm so pissed off at Skype in the first place for what they've done here? First of all, you're not going to be able to use Teams the way you think. It's a it's a corporate thing, and it's a, it's a paid service, and that's you get that as part of Office 365. <laughs> It's not something that you can down the regular person can download and use. You're mm -hmm. going to be using Skype, or you're going to be switching to something like Zoom or WebEx or one of those. WebEx. Skype for Business or Teams, yeah. the the thing that is replacing, will not um, will not be something that is used for personal use. Yeah. How many people here have 365? I, I do. I do. From work. Yeah. Yeah. I use the spreadsheets. Right. Well, who's who's doing 365? Uh, Microsoft Office 365. That's oh, how I yeah. have my email address, and I have all I have Skype for Business, which is kind of useless because I don't have any I don't have any employees to to to, to build the system out. It's just mine. Yeah, so yeah. we have all of our all of our projects now are on Teams, and then yeah. now with the conversion, now the times are good. Now with this conversion, it's so convenient for everybody. Everybody goes on there, and yeah, it's just coming from the SharePoint. We were using SharePoint a lot. Now originally we're... teams was terrible you know yeah. audio was bad and echoey you could only put four people on a screen and you know they've improved it a mm -hmm. lot in, in the last by month. the way if you just joined us i pay for i pay for uh, uh zoom, zoom. Uh, so you can do longer than oh, one hour yes i can do longer oh, than 40 nice. minutes or 40 minutes yeah. yeah yeah i do longer than 40 minutes and i can also have up to 100 people on here at the same time that yeah. would be chaos uh, that would yeah, be that utter was, chaos. Was, and right yeah. now, if you want to, if you're anybody out there who wants to That's call cool. me, like I know Vernon Nunn was trying earlier, Vernon, just go to my Facebook page, which is uh, uh, facebook.com forward slash A Bennett, and there is the link, and you just click on that, and you'll become part of the, uh, part of the group. So you know if, oh, if yeah. 12 is a jackpot, 100 is a clusterfuck? It, it, easily, is a easily, it's a clusterfuck. <laughs> you, know. But you know what's been exciting though out of this pandemic is how the innovation of how people are networking now for work. You have all these programs are making people get brought together. I, you know, essentially to get things done. I mean, at least something positive is happening. Every say. Yeah, yeah. Now I, I can also make one of you a host instead of me. Well, Phil would want to be a host now. Another what, host. what does that do? Uh, you, you can control just like I can control. 
Oh. But see, but what I can time. also do with Phil if I wanted to right now is try saying something, Phil. No, don't. Phil, try to say something. Well, we this can see. Okay. You can see the, the and everybody else can hear him. Now I'll, uh, I'll unmute you. Are you unmuted, Phil? No. No. Okay. You can Let see me... the little icon next to his name is oh, red. Uh, I unmuted. Wait a minute. Who did I mute? Did I mute somebody? Remember Kevin. That show you, Kevin. you muted Kevin. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where, I don't even see. Uh, yeah. I, if you click on the your name, yeah. you get a drop down menu with some options, and yeah. one of them is uh, un, uh, er, unmute. Or not, not, yeah. yeah, and you have, uh, Ke you have Kevin muted right now. Right, are you still there, right, Charlie? I'm here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, let's face it, Zoom is vastly superior to Skype. Oh, I love. There's it. no question so about. Far. it. <laughs> Kevin's muted. What, wait, what, Kevin? Kev Kevin is muted. Kevin, Kevin. Uh, Kevin, are you muted? No. He looks like yeah, the San Jose protesters. Wait a minute. San Jose protesters are going up to the cameras, <laughs> doing that, and up to the cops, and the cops are just oh. shaking their head. Oh, I'm you, Kevin. Okay. Hello, Kevin. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> did, did you mute yourself? Oh, hi. We're you, back. You muted yourself, right? No, I did not. Oh, really? I guess I. Was I, tell, I, I guess. To shut up! You didn't hear me. I guess I accidentally. Uh, I, I guess remember? I accidentally muted you. I can also mute everybody. I thought we were doing a show. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> remember ben, Benny Hill used to do that. Remember the Benny Hill? He would come I, back. They would come back to him, and he had some girl on his lap and something like that. I gave up doing a show an hour ago. <laughs> you know, this... So we started there for a minute. We were on a roll there, and then we went back to this tech shit. God damn it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, where's Bree's uh, piece of equipment? <laughs> oh, Bree, please, no, no him, backgrounds. Sorry. No, no tech. See, yeah, I mean... that, that, that looks good. <laughs> That's uh, Starship Enterprise or yeah. something. Yeah, and that's the one that I can where I take off and I go to the restroom. <laughs> People still think I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll turn it off. Hold on. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta figure out how to turn it I off. I mean, now. what else do you think can happen? Right now, we we got everybody mad about Trump stuff, all the political stuff. You know what I we like? The coronavirus, and now we yeah. have all the, you know, all the other stuff that's going yeah. on with the protests. It's like, you think we're what really else gonna, can happen? You think we're really going to get a spike in a couple of weeks? Oh, boy. Well, I think we're getting a spike right now. <laughs> Uh, we, got, we got some bigger problems with between China and Hong Kong and maybe Taiwan soon. Yeah. We're bringing him into it too. Well, well I, I think I think part of the problem is Phil that that, 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 that uh, yeah. uh, uh, our good president today with this whole thing about China uh, is not solving a problem. Well, he's, creating one. He's only he exacerbating can't. one. You know, uh, China is going to do what China wants to do, exactly. and we're. We or anyone else is not going to be able to deal with it. But if they start killing people in Hong Kong, which they're known to do, this is not going to be good on the world. Well, you got to remember, Hong Kong is a honey pot for them. It makes them a lot of money. Okay? And I don't think they're going to be as ready to do what you think they're going to do to Hong Kong. I think they just want to take dissenters. And you know the suppress. story about the scorpion and the frog? Uh, most yeah. people know that, yes, right? Yes. Uh, the scorpion. I know we know the story. Okay. Yeah, we know, we know. Well, it's so the scorpion says to the frog, "Hey, you know, after yeah, yeah, it's my around, nature. Uh, that's my nature. I'm a, I'm a scorpion. That's what I do." Well, the Chinese haven't changed. Uh, they they're just being more emboldened, and uh, things. Uh, I I think this is going to be a, a real big problem very shortly. Can uh, potentially be. You know what but, we've got uh, going on in Atlanta and Minneapolis. Uh, this this will pass in a day or two, but mm -hmm. uh, this uh, Chinese thing isn't uh, can be a real problem. Well, well, it is. Yeah, I think uh, depending on how it goes, you you've got to really take a look at what's going to happen in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. If uh, you know if if all these measures are just a lot, you know nobody says anything, uh, then they could be emboldened. Yeah, they're just. Right march right you know to just send the mm -hmm. boats over to taiwan yeah because a lot of hong kongers are thinking about you know moving to taiwan and moving their money and uh china's not going to be happy with that now, at the same time i think the, the hong kong will be fine because i mean if you look at shanghai they have a lot of prosperity and they're doing really they've done pretty well for themselves and so hong kong should be i, I don't think they need to be over you know 
going crazy the, about another 26 years i think that they still had of two systems one country mm. and yeah uh, I, I agree with you there uh that you know they moved pretty quickly but at the same time there's a lot of unrest there they they just want order they want it to make money and they want order and the hong kongers are saying you know the two systems uh, you know we want certain freedoms um so it's it's going to be tough did you hear our president today uh, every time we pronounce hong kong he called hong kong <laughs> or he, says, he can't even he's, hong kong he's, oh it, it, he was he, and, then, and then he gave a speech Here, here's what i don't get he invites all, all the press right mm -hmm. and then he gives his speech and then he turns around and walks away well then why right. did you invite them why not just give your speech and because leave? Because he didn't want to. He didn't want to didn't explain want to. his uh, his his explanation that he put on Twitter just before he went out there. Yeah, which was what about his about the about the uh, George Wallace quote that he put out. The oh night yeah. Before. What was that? Oh, what, was it, what was that? I didn't catch that one today. Yeah, I missed that one. Oh, it was, it was last night when he put out the uh, first. There's looters, then there's shooters. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then he tried to explain it away by he didn't mean that and he didn't know where it came from and well that's that's probably true because he doesn't read history and doesn't know nothing about it somebody uh, else made that quote too recently and didn't he Trump tried to explain it away he huh? tried to explain it away on twitter about an hour before that press conference and everybody was ready to ask him about it and then he went in <laughs> did his 15 minutes of we're taking away money from who and everybody else and and Hong Kong was a joke, and that they started the pandemic, and we're going to take all this crap away. And right when everybody was ready to ask questions, he turned around and walked off. Yeah. While Biden and while Obama expressed their feelings about George Floyd, and Biden made a couple of really, really yes. good speeches today. And you have our president. So pre it sounded like he was a president. Exactly. I took from Trump's tweets that it's okay to shoot people if yep. they're protesting. Yeah. Yep. And yeah. he turned around and tried to make it totally indiscriminately, different. indiscriminately they can be shot. Even yep. if they're especially if they're CNN because that's fake news. And hey, that, things happen when there's a protest going on. That's that's Trump how I took that. That that's quote how I came from a came from George Wallace in 1967 during the the uh, the uh, the RNC uh, outbreak. 67, 68. Yeah. Year-old problems coming back. We're going you know, backwards, not forwards. You know, history has a way of repeating itself. If you don't to, know it, yes. You know what? I, I'll, I'll just say it, and it'll be the final comment of the night. It's my comment. This country fucking sucks. Don't <laughs> I don't want to leave the house. It, it sucks. Don't it let sucks. Thor hit you in the ass. Well, I'm. I, if I if I was a lot younger, I might leave. Canada's looking better. I told my wife tonight, Canada's looking nice. Hey, the, the American Patriot said that the Brooklyn uh, a police station was run over uh, just now. Uh, so, wow. Uh, I know oh, I don't now. believe anything American Patriot says. Anyway, hey, listen, we got to go. Look at that, folks. That's a, uh, a citizen it's panel on House, Zoom too. tonight, which we had to go to because Skype was so fucked up. And it. And you have money back. House, uh, someone just posted. A what? The full house. Tent. It is a full house, yeah. But I don't have that thing. Tonight's that program brought to you in part by Zoom. Anyway, so maybe we'll do this on <laughs> on Tuesday, or maybe we'll try Skype. And if it isn't working, we will give it uh, about two minutes worth of chance, and then we're just going to run over and, and do this because this is all set up now, so it works. But Jack can't use Zoom, right? Uh, he can use Zoom, yeah, but he would have to post his uh, uh, his uh, uh, link somewhere. Anyway, that's it. Uh, what I want you all to do, I guess, is give a big wave goodbye, and I'll wave back mm -hmm. at you. And actually, Everybody I can, uh, you see uh, what, what happens with me, folks? I, I can just uh, uh, do it like I always do it here. Anyway, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with The Intersection. Sorry about all the screw-ups tonight, but you people seem to really enjoy it because we had like 50 people listening at one time. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'll see you again uh, Tuesday, okay? Uh, same time, same station in life, same technical problems. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, you know, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.